Hey guys, Sandy here, and I am going to show you a few of my scrapbook pages for my December project. Now this wreath that I am trying to figure out what background to put on uh, is a die cut from Brutus Monroe, and I colored it with some Arteza markers. Now, if you haven't watched my day five video, <laughs> you then won't hear my uh, long and sordid tale of why I got so behind with this December project this time. Uh, had to do with a health scare and a daughter leaving for college a whole semester earlier than we thought she was and a son coming home uh, from overseas who's in the Marines and quarter four at my uh, retail job. I am a retail manager, so Christmas gets ridiculous. So all those things uh, put up together kind of like made this perfect storm of me not really having my act together to do my December project, which brings me abundant amounts of joy. And instead of wallowing, I should have actually came in my room and did it and not looked at it as a chore um, of, you know, it was just another thing I got to do. I got so much to do. And instead of having that attitude, I should have flipped my switch a little bit because scrapbooking is what it's like calms me down. It kind of, you know, mellows me out when I'm playing with paper and it just, it just makes me feel good. So there it is. Anyway, what am I doing here? Because, you know, I kind of haven't really paid attention to what I was doing while I was running my mouth, uh, which happens a lot. Now, this is an ornament from, I believe, a My Mind's Eye chipboard, I want to say. So the only thing I am doing is heating, whoops, there it kind of, my poor little tweezers kind of flipped. So what I am doing is putting clear embossing powder on it and then heating it up until it's nice and smooth and melted. And I like a nice clear thick kind of um, sheen to it. And I am moving it quickly enough that I'm putting the ornament right back into the embossing powder instead of having to use my Versamark ink pad and do that all over and over again. So I'm just going to tie a little bow on this bad boy and I'm just using some, I believe this is some black and white string or is this the tan and white baker's twine? I can't see. Sandy, what are you doing? Okay, I think it's the tan and white. So I am just going to add a little bit of glue on there and that is the Lawn Fawn glue. Let me grab that real quick because I love this stuff. So this is the Lawn Fawn Lawn Fondamentals glue tube and it's it's some awesome glue. Um, and I love that it says close cap when not in use to keep your glue happy. Now I dig this glue. It's really good. Really, really good stuff. Okay. That makes me happy. The glue makes me happy. Now these are some Fitzgerald letter stickers and I got these back in 2015 when I did my very first journal your Christmas class uh, with Chamel. And I love these letter stickers and or thickers. And now normally I would probably like get rid of them by this point, but I love them so much that I just keep kind of Frankensteining the, the letters together and I keep finding ways to use them. So I have not uh, thrown them out yet and I probably won't. Now what I did do was use the number 13. So we went ahead and put that in there and then a little bit of decoration there. And you gotta figure out what is going down here because I decided that that is not where the wreath was going to end up. I actually keep that wreath, I think, for a couple uh, more days before I end up using it. 
Now this little stamp came from a Gossamer Blue uh, stamp set and I love this card. Like I really love this card. I love the color scheme so much on this card that I'm thinking about doing my December project uh, next year with this color scheme. And I just stamped off the Christmas tree uh, around it just to give it you know, so it didn't, it didn't feel like it was one lonely little Christmas tree because how can you only have one Christmas tree? That's just so sad. <laughs> it's just so sad if you only have one Christmas tree. <laughs> um, so I went ahead and used this Christmas sticker and that is from Simple Stories and I put the eye on, the little dot for the eye. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I don't put the dot on the eye when I am using word stickers or even letter stickers. It's just a, a matter of how I am feeling at the time. Now the paper actually came from a Love From Lizzie paper pad. If you don't know what Love From Lizzie is, check out lovefromlizzie.com. It is a British uh, card kit that is a subscription base. She also has other products as well. and. I have been subscribing for, I don't know, maybe half a year now, and I get the kits and have not made one single card with the kits. And that's okay because I use the stuff in the kits for scrapbooking because there's really some fun and some unique things in there. Um, and there's just been um, a couple times where, actually just once, where I wasn't too excited about the kit and Lizzie knows that I have an aversion to uh, butterflies in my scrapbooking and she was awesome enough to let me pick a substitution. Um, she is the sweetest thing ever. She is a super talented designer. Her kits are always amazingly uh, well put together and well thought out. So check that out. Um, not an affiliate, not anything like that. Just really, really appreciate her attention to detail for her kits. So here is that wreath uh, back <laughs> and on this card here. Now these silver stars don't make it onto this part of the layout and they actually don't make it into the album whatsoever. I really wanted to have them on a card and kind of cascading like they were and it just it just didn't happen i just didn't didn't get around to it it was always in the back of my mind to make that happen but it just didn't i had, I had other things going on <laughs> now here is um some snowflakes and i don't remember where these little guys came from like it doesn't it's not clicking in my head so what I am doing here is using my Versamark stamp pad and I'm using some glitter uh, embossing powder. Now the only thing is is that this, this glitter embossing powder is a little old and it has kind of yellowed, not, not in the jar, but it's kind of yellowed and you can see it um, a little bit when... Um, after I emboss. So yeah, that's the way that is. Things happen. Um, and I am not so upset by it or see, you can see it's, it, it's not, um, when you flip it over where I'm gluing, it's a lot whiter than when the part that has the glitter embossing on it. So anyway, All right, I'm gonna put some words down here. Nope, no words, numbers. One, four. Okay, then I have this card that you saw me put together earlier and I believe that's gonna be it. Now I am figuring out what I want to do here. I'm trying to figure out the Christmas card thing here. That is what I'm trying to do. I try to figure out some way to still use the envelope so that the card would slide in and out. 
But I, d I decided to skip that totally and just adhere it straight to the paper and put it in my album that way. Now these are some gold uh, punch outs. I believe they're called compliments. They're from Close to My Heart. And throwing a couple little word stickers there to make that really, you know, Christmassy. <laughs> Everything's Christmassy, guys. Everything is Christmassy. And I'm okay with that. So I decided to go with the 15 sticker. And if you watched any of my very beginning videos, you'll realize that that was the sticker that I was going to use throughout the entire album and decided quickly that that really wasn't speaking to me. I wasn't feeling it. Now I was just making sure I was putting this on the right side because I want it to keep that branding strip. Now here I'm just using that to mark where I need to punch the holes because like I said, this is going straight into the album. It's not gonna be in a page protector. And now I gotta figure out what in the world am I gonna do on the back of this page? Because the Christmas card is obviously, you know, the, the star of the show on the front. And then it's like, what is going on back here? What am I going to do? And honestly, I don't know guys, I don't know. So this is a chipboard Christmas tree that had a frame around it and I cut out the frame and I figured <laughs> at first I was gonna put it on this paper but then I decided that it needed to go on that black and white striped banner page and it does, it eventually does make it on that page. Here we have some uh, buffalo plaid paper and try and figure out what I'm doing with this bad boy over here. Apparently, I'm not doing anything with it. I really don't remember what is on the back of this page. Like, I don't remember what I did. I should probably get my album. But I don't want to right now. Now, I just received an album in the mail and the seller thought it was a bright idea to send an album a 12 by 12 scrapbooking album in a plastic bag. Do you hear the anger and frustration in my voice? Because it is there. I was so upset. I was like, what? When I opened the door, I was like, oh, this, this isn't mine. This isn't what I thought it was. And I picked it up and sure enough, you know what an album feels like and that's what it was. And I opened it and it has three damaged spots. And I think when I take the plastic off of the album, the little metal uh, corner guards are gonna fall off too. I think that's gonna happen, but I did not want to take the plastic off because I need the seller to make it right. So we'll see how that happens. So just took these two uh, little pieces here and created kind of a off kilter photo mat. I do believe I end up putting a photo on this one, but not right now. I don't believe it happens right now. So that goes right into the little album because uh, as of right now, guys, I still don't have my album. I still didn't have it. Now I'm just flipping through my page protectors to figure out what is going to be next. And it is going to be this four, uh, three by four pocket page set. And here I go with the Buffalo plaid. I thought that that was perfect because I am uh, I have two insects photos of the plaid Christmas balls that are on the main Christmas tree. And yes, that is correct. I did say the main Christmas tree. Um, our big Christmas tree is a floor to ceiling Christmas tree in our living room. And then we have one in the dining room. I have one in the scrapbook room. I have one on the landing uh, of our stairs. I have one in our bedroom. I have one in uh, kind of I don't know what to call it, like the den area that's upstairs. It's kind of like the kids hangout space. And then each of my kids have a Christmas tree in their rooms too. Not a full size, they have um, a tabletop, but they each have a Christmas tree in their rooms as well. So yeah, Christmas trees are all over the place in this house. 
Um, and that makes me happy because I love Christmas trees. <laughs> Just love them. Love them to bits. Um, if I could figure out a way to get another Christmas tree in this Christmas, I probably would. But I'm, I'm kind of running out of rooms. I mean, I don't, I don't want a Christmas tree in the bathroom. <laughs> um, so yeah, run, running out of rooms. Running out of rooms. And don't really need one in the kitchen either. So... I might be I might be at my max level of Christmas trees, guys. That makes me sad. So sad. So, so sad. Okay. So here I am uh, just kind of decorating up these little cards. Now, what I did with that reindeer, I put it on some vellum and kind of matted that vellum with the buffalo plaid paper. And I really like the look at that. I So I do it again. <laughs> I'm like, woo, that was a fun time. Let's do it again. So I just put a little bit of adhesive there um, because I knew I needed the vellum to stick. Um, but I don't want you to be able to see the vellum or see the adhesive through the vellum. And I'm like, nope. So then I have to use my little gummy uh, eraser to pull off the adhesive that left. And then I'm thinking, you know what? I don't need something uh, black up here on top of this. I need something red and sparkly because I have something red and sparkly down here in the corner and I need to make that happen. So I have these three kind of Christmas bauble type things and I just go ahead and place those up there at the top. And then I'm using some epoxy type thickers to get my number 17 down and I apparently don't put it there. Am I having trouble with the number? Oh, I put it at the bottom. And I believe that is going to do it for 17. So I think I might be on a roll here. I think I'm going to go straight into 18. And as you can see, the supplies on my desk are kind of getting closer and closer and they're kind of encroaching on my space. And it gets to the point where I have to actually clean this mess up before I can even scrapbook at all. And I'm just giving myself a flip through to see what I've done so far and to see what needs to happen um, still. Okay. I don't know why I looked at the latest page that I did the longest. I mean, I just spent the time putting it together so I should have remembered what it looked like but you know that doesn't always happen so here is day or 17 oh 18 did I skip 17 no no I just did 17 oh my word it must be something with that page because in my video I'm sitting here wondering why I stared at that layout so long and just run my mouth about how I should remember it. And then I completely forget that same page that that was day 17. It's gotta, it's gotta be that page. It's a mind blocker. It's gotta be. Now this is, I believe, an old American crafts um, piece of paper. I'm not sure. Not sure why I didn't go with it. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I've got the whole silver and gold thing going on with this. And I think I keep the whole silver and gold thing going. But I don't think that that asterisk and that star stay. I think some things are going to be changing. We will see. Okay, some more word stickers. These little word stickers are perfect. If you just have a little space that you need something to go in, but you're not sure what, and you don't want it to be washi tape, or you know, you've know you already used 60,000 labels, and you're just like, what's gonna go on here? A little word sticker is perfect. Okay, I'm gonna pop that one down there. And another gift. Man, I am just using all the gift embellishments today, aren't I? Which is fine because obviously the photo is there of wrapping paper and I think that's the, that is the very first um, presence that I wrapped. And sure enough, 
I say wrap. Now, I wonder if that stays there. I don't remember that in my album. Hmm. Yeah, guys, I have really no idea what in the world I'm doing here. Oh, I know what I'm doing. So I had the silver and gold uh, kind of together on some of the layouts, and I just wanted to make sure that I had silver and gold on this other pocket card as well. So we pop that down in there, and the gold's there. Happy with it. And I'm just trying to figure out what in the world I'm going to do up here. So I use some washi tape, and it is does have some silver on it. Yep, there comes off the wrap. Didn't was not pleased with that. What do I do? Do I just leave that like that? Maybe. Can't remember. I cannot remember. It's always a freaking surprise. This is why I should not wait so long to do a voiceover. Two months is entirely too long. Too long ago, people. Because you might want to know what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. And I'm looking at this going, what are you doing and why are you doing it? So that's not helpful at all. I promise, though, that uh, once we get out of these little Christmas videos, I'm just trying to get wrapped up. Um, I have just recently recorded a bunch of videos. And I remember them because they have all been in the past two days. So it, it'll get better, guys, I promise. Now, this is a... Muji pen and Christina Sorge of Redefined Creative and the Secret Not Secret Kit Club actually uh, introduced me to the Muji pen and I use a 0.38 and it just writes beautifully. It is just a great size and it writes so smoothly and the ink is like it has a black ink. It's not kind of like a faded black so that makes me ridiculously happy and I'm done guys. <laughs> Bye!